I have been sidetracked this week by recent news articles about modern day slavery. Interestingly, it only became illegal in England in April 2010. The slave trade itself was abolished in 1807 and eventually passed into law in 1834, but it was only made illegal to actually own somebody in 2010. The state of being a slave was never admitted under English law, so something that didn't exist couldn't be illegal. This is a fine example of the law is an ass. As first quoted by Charles Dickens in 1838, some people think it goes back as far as the 1600s, but I secretly suspect the law has been an ass for a lot longer than that. Modern day slavery affects 46 million people worldwide, including 11 million children. You may think it can't happen here, but UK statistics claim over 13,000 are involved in the UK, but government sources admit this is probably just the tip of the iceberg. Vietnamese working in nail bars, children being used as inner-city drug mules, pop-up brothels in the Lake District, some of the last places you'd expect to see this type of abuse. Moreover, the problem is increasing. The largest increase in modern-day slavery in 2017 was recorded in Europe. The migrant crisis and forced marriages contributing to much of this increase with Romania, Greece, Italy, Cyprus and Bulgaria particularly faring badly. Outside the EU, Turkey has seen a significant increase, slipping into the high-risk category. It's easy to think that the problem is somewhere over there, but with the problem right on our doorsteps, we need to do something. Raising public awareness is paramount, making people aware of what's going on and trying to alleviate the problem at grassroots level by allowing rural communities to start earning a reasonable livable wage and so reduce the tendency for youngsters to abandon everything, move abroad and fall victim. In sub-Saharan Africa, children as young as six are taken from their parents and made to work on cacao plantations using machetes and spraying industrial insecticides and working 100 hour weeks in clear breach of UN guidelines. The Ivory Coast and Ghana providing roughly half of all the world's chocolate. What can we do? Forcing multinationals to buy from ethical sources helps. 66% of all the cacao from the Ivory Coast and Ghana is purchased by Cadbury's and Nestle, despite them having modern day slavery policies. Cadbury's have been implicated since 1901 as benefiting from the proceeds of slavery and have successfully dithered and waltzed around the problem ever since. The big five companies all have plans in place, but these won't be implemented until 2020 or in the case of Cadbury's 2022. We are buying coffee and cacao from the Philippines, distributing it here and in Europe and returning all profits back to the producing communities as aid. We know the farmers and their communities. We know where this has come from and the conditions under which it was grown and harvested. We are starting a movement, not just a company, to increase awareness and use trading to produce the funds to help fight this and improve the conditions leading to this abuse. We see education as the key improve children's education, make them and the young adults aware of the dangers and what to look out for. Help us to help them. For more details, have a look at our website. Thank you for your time and attention.